morning. Welcome to a day in the life with me. I appreciate you spending the day with me and I appreciate the fact that you like longer videos because sometimes these get a little out of hand. But you know what? I'm so happy you appreciate it. It's just what I do. It technically is spending the day with me, literally. So it is 8.50. I've just gotten myself together. It's been one of those mornings and we're going to make some breakfast. And I have a leftover Balinski sausage to use and I thought ooh what about a veggie and sausage scramble that sounded really good I have avocado I need to use so that's what tickled my fancy this morning so let's get started with some breakfast because this girl's hungry all right let's get started chopping our veggies but let me show you this beautiful 32 ounces full of water. Well, if we can get one of these down, I think you can't these down, that's a win. But we're gonna go for, we're gonna try for one today. So thank you. So let's get chopping. Now I have a pretty sad looking zucchini, but I'm still gonna use this a little bit on the, it's not like mush, but it's, <laughs> it shouldn't wiggle like that. So we're gonna, we have zucchini, asparagus, onion, peppers, and a leftover Belinsky mushroom sausage. This is two points, I believe. Some people say some of them are one. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I, I didn't, I don't know if I, if I verified it or not. I can't remember, but let me spritz my pan with a little olive oil spritz. All right. We're going to get started chopping. I'm going to do onion, pepper, this, and then the zucchini. In that order, then I'll put this in last. This is cooked. I just want to, you know, I'm going to chop it and get it all like crispy in there. Then we'll have our eggs. I may throw a Canadian bacon in there. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Let's bring it down. All right. Yes, we are in camos today. Yeah, camos and my my medium t shirt. When it just when you think that you feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not doing things right, you know, as long as your clothes fit, <laughs> that is something to go on. Like, so we're just going to chop these. Again, you can chop as finely as you like. I like mine pretty, pretty big. Not going to lie. Let's just turn this on. Oh, you know what I should show you? I think I still have. Let me see. It used to be down here. Here it is. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It is, I think it's a some kind of a cutter, but it makes a really good um, scraper. So you want to like, like, pick up your veggies and do that. Especially, I use this a lot when I'm doing like a lot of chopping, and I don't want to, you know, it's just, it takes it really quickly. <laughs> That's enough onion. We're going to chop up some bell pepper. Again, you put in the veggies that you like. I love these little things. I just love these things. These are like my favorite things in the whole world, these little bell peppers. I'm like, whoever came up with these like needs a, a national holiday in their honor. And it's funny, some have seeds and some don't, which I think is a bit funny. Or I should say, some have more seeds than others. I just like to leave them like that. Pretty big. I love big pieces of pepper. But if you don't, then you don't. <laughs> You're to make your veggies your way. Let that saute a little bit and we'll get the rest of these cut. This way they'll be ready to go. It's gonna, this is local Jersey asparagus. I love it. And I got some thick ones. And our zook. 
Yeah, he must have been hiding in the back of the drawer. I'm like, oh, you've been here a while. <laughs> and I love the smaller ones versus the bigger ones. There's no seeds in those small ones. The big ones have big, like, almost like pumpkin seeds in them. But you can see these. I don't know if you can even see any seeds in those. I always prefer to get them smaller. And I try to dice everything along the same size. Let's get a spatula. And give our peppers and onions a toss. Let's chop our sausage. These are the Balinski chicken sausage. I've never seen them in my store before. I know Nikki gets fit cheese, the one that, when I saw them, I'm like, wait a minute, she always talks about these Balinski sausages. And this other store I started going to now has them, so. That's pretty rude. Get out of the way. Here we have some color, and then we're just going to add the rest of everything. Because I want the sausage to release and get caramelized. That's why I'm putting it in as early as I am. Look at that. Sour Look at that. That is a lot of veggies. And Just gonna cook that till the veggies are tender and I'll give you a break and then we'll come back and we'll add the eggs. Sounds good to me. All right, our veggies are looking amazing. Look at that. Look at the color. Oh. We're almost ready. Another few minutes and then we're gonna throw our eggs in there. It's like a, it's become a veggie hash. But before, I wanted to share with you, Motivate sent me detox. If you can see that um to try i've never it is a premium this is a premium colon cleanse now you've know i've been looking i haven't even opened it yet i'm looking for it to you know a cleanse so i thought well, this is a good opportunity to try we'll see how it goes and then i can report back if it's worth if it works just so take two capsules with a glass of water see what they look like Ooh, sorry about that. I what's nice about this, not that it's just it's absolutely beautiful, but it's it's comfortable in your hand. And I like the fact that it'll fit in my cup. That's what makes these so popular. Okay. There we go. Mm. It's cold. <laughs> no, me and cold water is like have cut it from the sink. Ah, brain freeze. All right, a little bit more and then we'll, oh yeah. Oh, these are gorgeous. This is turning into like a, like a veggie hat. Looks gorgeous. gorgeous. So I have one egg and I'm gonna throw some cage-free egg egg yolks or egg whites. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a bunch of egg yolks in there. Okay. Swallow this. Bring it in. I was gonna use all this egg, but I thought, oh, you know. Oh, there's my toast. going. Uh, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to because I got a lot of hash there. So I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is making the eggs on the side and putting them over the hash. Yeah, that's, that's a decent amount of eggs. Remember, 
They're mostly egg whites. So we're gonna put our hash in the back. I'm gonna grab another pan and I'm gonna scramble those eggs up. I just, and I'm preferring them on top. That's what I'm feeling right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Eat, eat the way you feel. <laughs> Just put it up. Eat the way you feel. Eat the way you want to eat. So you enjoy it. So yeah, I mean, I kind of scrambled it in with everything. It just, yeah, but we're going to eat that way. So I'm going to scramble these up. Grab our toast, grab our avocado, grab a bowl, and we're going to plate it up. So in my bowl, I have my veggies. Spread out. Now, if you'd wanted, you could have put some potatoes in there. Would have been good, but I prefer, I wanted the toast. So I'm going to spend my points on toast. So there's our eggs. There we go. Look at that. See, that's what I want. That's what I want. I'll save a little bit for Bailey. Because Bailey gets some. She can't say it out loud, though. And my veggies are really seasoned, so I really don't... Um, need anymore. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of black pepper. Oh look at that. Oh look at the fine beautiful if you're not grinding your pepper then don't even bother using any. I'd say that all the time and I truly mean that because you're not getting the flavor that you're that you need. So that is my bowl. Let me grab my toast. It is a two point Dave's killer bread. So and I'll grab my avocado because I should have already done that. So I can weigh the bad boy. Alright. Just gonna cut her. Alright, this is a mini cotto. Grab a little plate. Oh, put my, oh, my cute little avocado plate. How cute is that? Hand painted avocados. All right, let's put her on here. Okay. The small one, <laughs> like grabbing the big one. Thirty-six grams. Okie dokie. I believe 36 is just over a point, I believe. I have to check that though. Smash it on there. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Put the pit back in the other half. Let's go with some dill pickle. I might throw some on my eggs. Sprinkle lightly. Yeah, why not? So that is breakfast this morning. Veggie hash, eggs, a Belinsky chicken sausage, and some avocado toast. Points, two for, uh, it might be two points of the avocado, I'm not sure. We'll just say, so it could be six points. So that is six points of breakfast this morning. Now in better balance, I think that Malinsky sausage came up as one point versus two. And I think the avocado is the same. So it is absolutely worth it to me for this breakfast this morning. Somebody's going to get a treat this morning. <laughs> no sooner do I walk over. There he goes. He loves his eggs. Do you like that muffin? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yes, I talk for my dog. <laughs> you eat everything up now. All right, hello vlog. I just ended my rambling. I just left the post office and I just got a box for the giveaway. I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna fill the large flat rate box. And one of you lovelies is going to be the recipient of this box. I'm not sure when I'm going to post it, Probably I have to get all the stuff together. So once I do that, maybe this week. Turn back out here. 
So I have some favorite things I want to put in there. I got some couple little pamper things. I've got some loaf pans. I need to unload. I got a mug. You know, fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. So yes, day in the life today. Um, what time is it? 11.28, okay. Let's see what time it was. We need to go home and organize my earrings. That's, I don't think I'm gonna film that. I, don't, I mean, I may film some of it, but. Oh, squirrel, get out of the way, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, hey, they dart out. I know they're rats with furry tails, but I think they're still cute in my world. But yes, so I think I wanna organize my earrings. What I, I have this little, I got it last year. It's like a, it has little plastic, um, I don't, I don't even, I guess envelopes, but they're little, play, they're this big. And you could put each pair in there and then you put it in a slot in this book. I mean, it was not the best. I just, I felt like for the amount of earrings I have, it's just a way I could look through the book and pick out what I want to wear. But I've gotten out of putting them back in the book. So yeah. And plus all the ones I got from Timu. I'm also going to put a pair, I have a couple pair I'm going to put in the giveaway from Timu because they're kind of similar to ones that, that I have in the Timu set, but they're, these are not Timu though, but I will tell you, those Timu earrings, cheap and durable. They don't feel chintzy, but I meant like cheap in price, very affordable and really they're made really well and they don't bother my ears, which, you know, I used to, everything used to bother my ears. It was horrible. Back when I was young, I said that only could wear gold. Anything else, my ears would blow up. But I think they finally wore off that. But I'm just, we had breakfast. Oh, we gotta make, oh, I think we're gonna have a flatbread pizza for lunch today. I had one yesterday, it was fantastic. And I'm looking so forward to it again. So, a pepperoni one. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll put cabbage on it. I don't know. We'll see. When the mood strikes me. Um, and dinner. I already filmed. This does not make sense, but I will explain it. I'm going to sh put in last night's dinner. Because tonight we're just making burgers. Like, you know, big whoop. But last night was interesting. <laughs> so I kind of. So it's going to be last night's dinner and today's vlog. I didn't have to tell you that. I just kind of like to think. It, but, you know, I thought to myself, you know. It's, it's interesting. I made a um, crock pot, kind of like the taco chicken, but this is made with the, tom the the green salsa. It's a verde. So it's salsa verde taco chicken, in a sense. And it, this gives it a little bit of a different flavor. We really like it. I think because we've had taco chicken so much that it's kind of like, this is just different. And it's creamy because you could add cream cheese. Now I didn't have cream cheese. So what I did, what I did have an overabundance of, which really worked out, was Laughing Cow wedges. I had gotten them when I went to, um, when this time I went to Sam's, and not realizing that I still had some there. So I got another one. So I needed to use up like these like five wedges. So I'm like, that was perfect. So I put them in there, and it just gives a little bit. And they're one point each, and it made. I mean, there's a crap ton of it. There's, I think I used four chicken breasts. In a jar, the salsa was zero, the chicken is zero. I just have to count the six points of the Fingal cheese. So yeah, each serving is a point. So yeah, it's real and it's tasty. And I would have put white beans in there if I had them. I thought I did, I did it. All I have is chickpeas. I have an extreme amount of chickpeas. <laughs> and thought I had white beans, but I didn't. So, or you could put green chilies would go good in there too. Again, didn't have them. It was okay. It was still delicious. We had it over rice. And did I get anything else with that? I felt like there was some. Oh, okay. Steve wanted more cabbage. So we had garlic cabbage. Okay. It's all good stuff. Cabbage is, is the super. Steve sent me. Oh my God. Uh, we're not going to do it today because I'm not ready. But Steve sent me this thing. He, you know, he should not watch anything late night. Because, you know, he orders stuff and he, he's just, well, he must have been watching Dr. Gundry or one of those health, I don't even know which doctor it was, on, um, it was a thing on, I guess, things that are good for you to have. Well, he's now into sauerkraut. 
so he's like everywhere we were well, this actually didn't happen recently this was like last week I well but what he sent me was due to that <laughs> so he's we went to we went to the um Lancaster last week I didn't realize he bought all these jars of sauerkraut. I bought one, but I, he, I'm like, he goes, oh, well, I watch this doctor. This is the new superfood. Oh my gosh. I mean, for a man that's so intelligent, he is just, and I guess he trusts only certain people that he watches. Um, I mean, he was into avocado oil. He still is. Um, walnuts. Uh, so it's just a bit fun. So, Back. So I get this mess instant ma the, in, in Facebook Messenger because he must have been in Facebook and it was a link for a recipe to make my own sauerkraut. <laughs> because you really should make this. It seems pretty easy. So you want me to make sauerkraut? <laughs> I'm like, well, we can just buy it at the Amish market. I mean, when you think about it, because it does just cook, it does wilt down to practically nothing. So if you're paying like two to three dollars for a head of cabbage, it's probably just as easy. I think that uh, it was, it was five twenty five for that thing of, of, of cabbage, which honestly it might be worth eat, doing instead of going through all this to make it myself. But yeah, we're not going to do that today. Maybe the next couple of weeks we'll make cabbage. So he's into cabbage. So he's been eating this garlicky cabbage as much as he can. I'm like. So yeah. Me, I, and I said, well, I had a cabbage prep. <laughs> because actually, I didn't even realize that um, the coleslaw, well, which is cabbage, obviously, was like, I'm thinking to myself, well, that was a main component of the, that salad. So it was almost like a cabbage prep. But that salad was really good for me. I'll prep on Sunday. It was delicious. Like I, I, it's funny. I, I say it was um, hungry girl. Uh, I and, and Suzanne's like, no, you completely did a different. I'm like, well, she liked mine better. Uh, thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> I just don't like broccoli slaw. I just don't like it. I mean, it's. I think it in the right vehicle, it's fine. But I don't know. It's just. It's not. It's not something I enjoy. I enjoy cabbage because it's tender and it's just, I don't know, it just, it, it just lends itself to the salad, I think, in a much better way. But um, it's really good. Like, I will say that the oranges did disintegrate. I would say maybe next time if you're like planning it to serve it somewhere, maybe put them on the side. Um, or if you want to make it for yourself and you're only one person, just kind of leave the components separately and just add them when you want them that might just be the easier thing because it it's it's good though it definitely i think it'll make a fantastic potluck you know bring it to potluck be fantastic it's just refreshing those little mandarins they just have that pop of of deliciousness and peter suggested maybe using like just getting and peeling the mandarins i don't know how they would be instead of using the canned ones which i did rinse um I guess it would be more tougher, but we'll see. But yeah, I talk with these vlog statements are way too long, but you guys don't seem to care. So I'm going to like, you know, just do my thing. Though I will say last week's I had to cut it off because it was 65 minutes, which I do think is way too long. I try to get 45 is like my top. I don't want to go more than 45 and I'm not making dinner tonight. So we really should be good today. <laughs> I say this and we'll see. So let's go in and, um, Oh, my video is going to go up soon. So we're going to go to the premiere of a Wednesday Wisdom. Was not many questions today. I think it was 20 minutes, which is pretty good. I like the 20 minute ones. The 35, 40, I just, yeah, they're, I, that's dedication. And I thank you for sticking with them. I appreciate it. I do. But let's go in. And uh, oh, maybe I'll get this, have a couple minutes, I'll get this box together. I'm drinking my water. Y'all know a new cup always helps, but this is nice. I mean, it's what's nice about it is it feels nice in your hand. It fits in your cup holder. I mean, that's a game changer for a lot of us because I have big ones that kind of just kind of rock. And I have to make sure the lid's tight or I have to stick them in my thing. And you can take out the straw. You don't have to use the straw. That's nice, too, because 
maybe you're not a straw person. I kind of go back and forth. I'm not always a straw person. There's some days I don't really want a straw. There's some days I do. And it's been, there's still ice in there. I like that it keeps the ice cold. Can't imagine filling this much of hot beverage, though. Can you imagine having a 32-ounce coffee? No, people, my mother has, so I can't. But I'm, but I'm trying to drink more, more water. Does body good. So let's get in the house and stop talking. All right. I wanted to show you what I come home to. This is the cutest thing ever. on his blankies. <laughs> Hello, Muffin. Say thank you all for the birthday wishes yesterday. Yesterday, Billy celebrated his 11th birthday. He's an old man. We always call him Old Man Bailey. But yeah, that's that's him. That's one of his comfy spots. With, and that blanket used to be mine. His old dog is on it. One of the boys bought it for me. And, well... Bailey took a liking to it. And I did get another blanket. One of the boys bought me one with his face on it. If I remember to show you that, I will. Um, but yeah, so I gave that one to Bailey. He absolutely loves it. That's his comfy blankie. He loves your stuff. Say hi. Say hi, my face. Ooh, red eyes. I hate when those do this. It looks like his demon eyes. The boys would say, of course he does. There he is. He's like, I'm shy. You camera shy. Huh? You camera shy. I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I come home to. Quick trip to the post office and Bailey's all snuggles a bug in his rug. He's a sweetheart. But that's your belly fix for today. I don't know why he's like trying not to look. Ooh, eyes light up. That's creepy. <laughs> all right, there you go. Thanks for the birthday wishes. All right, since I already blew the facade that I cooked dinner for today's video yesterday, we're going to make dessert, though. I'm going to make protein pudding, and I'm trying this. Pure protein. Dollar Tree has this in stock, and I know a lot of the Dollar Trees are having it, so I thought for $1.25, I said, you know I'm not a fan of this. You know I'm not a fan of this. But I'm hoping, mixed with, as it's leaking, some pistachio pudding mix that maybe it will be tolerable because if it is yeah then I will get some of these in for the protein puddings this is good till December of 2023 so that's I got my little handy dandy whisk stuff. somebody told me that's what I should use and because I didn't use it so all right let's bring it down now I don't know if this is bigger than the cartons and I have to clean up my mess I know that's next on the agenda dishes all right, it smells like, like Play-Doh. I don't think we put all in, I feel like this is too much. So we're just gonna do that. Let me get my handy dandy. Oh, do I want this one? I'm gonna put in two tablespoons. Oh. This is my favorite, by the way, the pistachio. There is a little crumb in there. All right, let's whip it good. You guys throw in some pistachio skinny syrup. <laughs> but hopefully this will set up before the end of this video. Let me see if I have the pistachio syrup. And there's also some powder at the bottom of this box. Because, you know, that's how my life is. Let me see if I go have the syrup. I found it. Pistachio latte. I knew I had one of these. I'm not going to put a lot, just a drop. Now, that could be unfortunate, though it might help the, you know, protein taste. It's already getting thick.
So there we go. Pudding for tonight is made. Peter will finish this little mouthful in here. I just felt like it seemed like too big. Oh, it sm does smell good. I'm not gonna lie about that. I like the beater. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, it's a little off pudding, but it's not bad. I can live with it. So I'm going to cover this up and hopefully it sets because I've never used this brand for protein pudding. Though people have told me they have. So, check off dessert. All right, time for our flatbread lunch. Oh, love lunch. All right, I'm using a Victoria Family Bakery cauliflower coconut lavash. This is one point. I think it's one point on both plans. It is 60 calories. And is there protein in this? There is six grams of protein. And remember, D15 on their website gets you 15% off, which is very nice of them to do that. So let me bring you down and show you what we're going to put on today's flat what I had yesterday. I loved it, so we're gonna have it again today. Let me get my spreader. People ask about this spreader. I got this at the um, Kate May Peanut Butter Company that I get my powdered peanut butter from. So yeah, let's right, bring it down. So I use the back side of my pan. It's, you know, no worse for the wear. So I'm gonna spread my wedge of Laughing Cow cheese. This is the Asiago. And again, you don't, you could use any cheese. But I'm doing this like cheese first because I want it to spread. I don't want to try to spread it on my tomato sauce. So we're just going to spread this. This is a one point wedge. I love these. I would have to say my top, and I did a top 10 video. This was in it. Laughing cow cheese. Yes, yes, and yes. So spread this around. Make sure you get all of it off your scraper as best you can. Then I'm gonna put this, this is Contadina Pizza Squeeze I got at the Dollar Tree. One quarter cup is 1.35 calories, but I'm not using that much. I'm only going to use a zero point amount. Just a glug here and a glug there. That is not a quarter cup. Let's get our spreader out again because yeah, and just spread it. Now, if you wanted to use a whole, I mean, a whole quarter cup would be way too much for this. Because you just need a little bit, you know, and it's going to spread when it gets hot. So, get all that off. Oh, yeah, bad angle, bad angle. I was trying to have everything ready, and then I realized I had no room. Turkey pepperoni. I have one point's worth. Just sprinkle. You could use chicken. You can use regular pepperoni. You just don't get as much. And I just think the turkey is just fantastic. And some mini bell pepper. I just have an orange one. And some onion. This is my favorite topping. Just is. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I got one more thing to put on here. Not sure I need it, but these pepperonis. This is so good. Yeah. You gotta go bring or go home with, with, you know, the vegetables because, you know, you can. In this instance, because you can, you should when it comes to veggies. Yeah. My oven is preheated to 400. It's like I haven't used my toaster oven. Okay. I'm going to grab this little gem right here. And Bailey is right at my feet. bacon yep yep because one size i don't have to worry about it is zero points so you know and it's really honestly not that high in calories anyway i'm just gonna do a small dice and it give us that smokiness yeah it's almost like a bacon another one that was on my top list is canadian bacon 
Oh yeah, this is something in my either freezer or refrigerator at all times. So just done a dot, dot, dot. And when it comes out, we're gonna shake a little bit of Parmesan cheese on. Just, you know, a little, not a lot. Sprinkle, spread. Make sure you have a little bit everywhere. That's what I love too, it's so nice. When you're dicing small, you get more surface covered. So this is my lunch. It is three points, I think, on both plans. Can't beat that with a stick. I'm gonna go toast shop, I'm gonna go, out, go down and get my chips, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna eat. While we wait for our pizza, I'm or flatbread, I'm gonna drink my greens for the day. You remember? My motivate greens, the, they are peachy, sugar free. This is, helps me get in water and it keeps me. I've been doing this before lunch because I feel like it helps keep me a little bit fuller. So, cheers to you if you want to try them. There is a link down below for 20% off. And I'm going to drink my healthy greens. That's the way you do it. All right, my lunch is all ready. Look how good that looks. And what I like to do is sometimes I like to fold it in half and you get like a kind of like a fold over. But that is three points, did we say? Yes, three points. One for my cheese, one for my flatbread, and one for my pepperoni. And I'm having a bag of pitos for one point, so it's a four point lunch. All right, thanks for helping me make lunch. I'm going to go enjoy this. All right, we're going to have a snack and a tasting. So I have the Motivate new protein in vanilla. Last time we tried it in chocolate. So I said to them, oh, they asked me how I liked it. And I said, it really did taste like um, Nestle's Quick. I said, well, I like to really taste the vanilla. So they said, yes, to taste. Oh, it'd be great if I really like it. I'm excited. I was excited to like the chocolate. So I was open it up in my blend jet. Not my favorite, but you know, it works for this. I have a cup of oat milk. Grab the scoop out of here. <laughs> Very. Mm. Mm, smells really good. Ooh. Reminds me of like French vanilla pudding. What's it called? Vanilla. Mm. Well, so far it smells really nice, so I'm excited. Bring it down. That went off. There we go. We got our oat milk and we have our serving of vanilla protein powder. It is one WW point and it is, I believe, 100 calories. Yes. And you get 20 grams of protein, which is really, you know, really good. 20 grams of protein, 100 calories, non GMO, less than one gram of carbohydrates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it before I put the ice in. Okay, that's fine. Fine, that's fine. Let me get some ice cubes. You know, I, this blend jet's not my favorite, but it, it can do some protein. So I don't want too icy. And let's let her go again. I'm tightening the lid because. A glass. Okay. Let's bring it. Oh, well, you see me pour it. bring out of the thing so here's hoping this is good because it's such a good find to have a one point protein powder 
I mean, because sometimes they're two and sometimes they're three because of the added sugar and stuff. So I am interested. Ooh, reminds me of snack pack pudding. Do you remember snack pack pudding? That's what it reminds me of. I mean, it's not the best vanilla I've ever had, but it's it's pretty good. Out of five, I give it probably a four. And there's Bailey. Two point snack. And chewing some ice. So if you like Motivate products, then I highly recommend the vanilla protein powder. Good job, Motivate. It is 310 and I want to give you an update. I finished it. 30 ounces. So that's an accomplishment. I'm not gonna sit there and try to force anymore because 30 ounces is amazing. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in here. I mean I've obviously been enjoying it. So yeah. So at least well, that's a good start. Maybe if maybe who who knew that I, I would be acceptable to a fun cup? Somebody knew. All right, I gotta go make my bed. I stripped my bed this morning, so I'm gonna go upstairs and make my bed. And then, I'm not sure what else we have planned. I will come back and we will have something else. I might, have, I might need another snack because I actually split that shake with Peter, so it's only a point. So I might <clears throat> need another snack. Having my snack, I'm having two cups of Skinny Pop. I think it was. It's two points and two bites. I didn't check that. I think it's Skinny Pop. And I'm trying another water. I don't think I'll finish this one. But I figured I would give it the old college try. Ooh, let's check on our, because I'm going to end this video because I've already done dinner. We had that conversation. Um, let's check the pudding. All right, we're gonna get dinner prepped. I look this way, because the camera's here, but I use camera. So if I'm looking the wrong way, it's because my phone is upside down, because it's a greater angle to do it this way. Because, never mind. And that's way too complicated and too much information. We're gonna get dinner started. I have a crock pot that I have on high, heating up. It is the, um, 12.30, so five hours should be plenty. In this, I'm going to put some boneless, skinless breasts. Let me get them. Now I have a family pack. I don't need all of these. I'm gonna put the ones that look a little bit tough. You know the ones that have those little white lines on them? They're just because they're really big. So try to grab the big ones. The ones you think might be a little bit tough because the the, the crock pot will definitely soften those up. We're gonna do three, three or should we do four? Um, we could do, this is a small one, we'll do four. four this recipe is very forgiving, you could do three or four chicken breasts. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different because I have some laughing cow cheeses to use up, but you should really, what I normally use is cream cheese. I'm going to put the chicken breast in there. I'm going to top it with, I got it here somewhere, salsa verde, the green salsa. Just pour it right on top. It's kind of like taco chicken, but this is salsa verde chicken. So yeah. Could be good. I love salsa verde. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna let this cook completely for probably a good four hours on high. Let's cover it. And then towards the end, maybe last half an hour, maybe even when I shred it, I'm going to put some laughing cow cheeses in there. Or if you have cream cheese, that would work. And if you have any white beans, that would be good in here too, like cannellini or even like the little navies will be good in here. You don't have to do that. I'm not sure if I have beans yet. But I know I'm going to put the cheese in there. So we're going to let this cook. And look at that. Five minutes you got dinner ready, practically. So we don't use the crock pot much when we're out. It's Steve's pet peeve. He's afraid it's going to like explode. So so when I'm home, like today, I'm just getting it going. So we'll revisit this. I will show you what it looks like when we get to the next step. So you might want to like, see I'm backwards. I'm backwards. But we all knew I was backwards, didn't we? 
Okay, it's been over about four and a half hours. I just took two forks and I'm just breaking the chicken apart. I may drain a little bit of this juice off. This is a really juicy, juicy one. Dra drain a little bit of the juice off and I'm gonna grab my little um, wedges of laughing cow cheese. I'm gonna see how many I wanna put in there. I'll let you know. I mean, in case if you had a block of cream cheese, that's what I would use, <laughs> but I don't have that. So, and I don't have any beans either. I went and checked, no beans. So we're just gonna have to do without. I'm going to grab my laughing cow cheese and place the wedges in there. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have six wedges. I'm just going to mix that in, let that melt, and then we'll be ready for dinner. The cheese is all melted. You can see it's gotten thicker. It smells really good. This is kind of a opposite version of taco chicken it's green <laughs> it's good though it's really really good he has some green chilies you could put those in here that would be really really good i'm just going to serve it over rice you could use this inside of a taco or a bowl oh it's really easy very super duper low in points and really high in flavor so that is the quick dinner prep tonight now our pudding funny story it is three points on better balance and Weight Watchers, but the shake is one point on Better Balance and the pudding is two points. And on Weight Watchers, the pudding is one point and the shake is two points. So it's three for the whole entire thing, no matter which plan you're on. So it's set up. Wow, that's what I call a success. Honestly, I don't think, cause not, it might've made a little difference in there, a little bit. Twangy. But honestly, it's not bad. I think I'd buy the vanilla again just to make protein puddings. So if you go to your local Dollar Tree and you see the pure protein for a dollar twenty-five, vanilla, I've seen vanilla, chocolate, caramel, and I think I've seen strawberry. So it's worth a dollar twenty-five just to make pudding. So success. Dessert for three points tonight. If I eat the whole jar, I eat the whole bowl, but that's a lot. Because I want some whipped cream. So I'll have half and a little bit of squirt of whipped cream. Winner, winner. All right, before I leave, I'm going to make another jar of sprouts. This is all that's left from the jar we made a couple of weeks ago. I guess it was, I don't think it was, I think it was two weeks ago. But these are, I think these are the broccoli ones. As you can see, you put them, like I use them in place of lettuce, but we're going to be using, which I of course left over there, these. These are like mung beans and bean sprouts. These are the big fat ones. See how big they are. So if I remember to show you during the week on just like regular videos or maybe in the, in the, in the group, I'll post it. So I'm going to have my clean jar. I'm going to put two tablespoons, two, three. Let's be a little crazy. Two, three tablespoons. See what happens. And what we're going to do for tonight, we're going to fill it with cold water to about here. Let them sit overnight, and then tomorrow we do our rinse. So you rinse them twice a day, morning and night. And then you leave them. Now what's good about these is, well, there's some, you can see there's some smaller ones too. So I still have to lose the small lid. I could try to use the big lid, but I think the small ones might fall through. But we got another jar of sprouts. You can keep doing these. You can do multiple jars at once. They're so good to have on hand. Like this is so good on a sandwich. It's just delicious and you've grown it in your home with no dirt and no sunlight. Like, if I can grow them, you can grow them. So that is it for today's Spend the Day With Me. I'm gonna finish on that. I'm gonna fill this up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these, give them a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below anything you wanted to try that we talked about today. And if you're new here, welcome. We will dish another day. Thanks for watching. And if you yet to hit that subscribe button, join us here. We do fun things. <laughs> I will see you later, Gators.